So I got the target set up here, folks. I'm gonna try some reloads here. This one target here has got two holes in it there, two there, and two there. Well, one, but it's two shots in the same hole from a previous outing, I guess, and I'd save that target. But I've got some 120 grain Sierra Match Kings loaded for the 6.5 Grendel. Some 123 grain SSTs loaded for it. So uh, we're going to try them out and see how well they do. Hopefully find something that will shoot pretty good out of that little gun. The factory ammo left a little bit to be desired. But usually you can find something that will shoot good if you work a load up for it. And that's what I've done. I've got several different power charges behind the same bullet so hopefully we can find one that'll shoot good well folks today I've got a load with 100 grain AMAX and H335 30 grain 30.3, 30.6 30.9 120 grain Match King with benchmark powder 27, 27.3, 27.6, 27.9, and uh, load with the 123 green SST and H335 powder at 28, 28.3, 28.6, 28.9. Got the chronograph out. I'll see what kind of velocities I'm getting. I loaded three each of each one of these different loads. I didn't do the 95 green VMAX. Uh, I'll probably do that in the future. Uh, but anyway, there's that little CZ 527. Let's put it to the test. I've got that gun lined up with the 123 green SSTs and 123 green ELDs. And I knew that these lighter bullets are going to shoot faster so I just went ahead and shot three of the 95 green V maxes that I had loaded for my AR they shoot really good out of the AR they grouped a little big here out of this gun but uh, I was holding I was holding down here on the target and I'm at 200 yards here um, the ELDs now, if you put your 200 yard mark on it, they, they hit right here. But these 95 grain V maxes are considerably faster and they're shooting up over 2,800. So they're shooting higher. But anyway, I just wanted a baseline of where, where those lighter bullets was going to hit at. So I don't want to waste my loads that I made the test by missing the paper completely so I want to try my 100 grain I think they're 100 grain A maxes I'm going to, going to aim at the same spot with them so I'm going to give it a try alright let's go test them 100 grain A max bullets well there is the 30 Grain load of 100 grain bullets, uh, AMAX bullets. And when I went up to uh, 30.3, I shot a little bit higher, so I'm probably going to have to aim even lower. When I go step it on up to the next two loads, because they just keep getting hotter. Let's go back and see if we can't try the other ones out. I don't want to have to scoot them targets over, because this one here is being blocked by a tree limb in my way. See these two, that one's not good enough. I'm going to have to move it over. 
I may move it down here. That'll give me something else to use for aiming point. I think I'll do that. Well, folks, this is the load with 100 grain A max at 30.6 grains. It's about a two and a half inch group or so, two and three quarters. And this is the same bullet with 30.9 grains. I'm holding all the way down here. I'm holding down here. And bullets rising that much. Because I've got it zeroed with the 123 grain bullets. And they're not near as fast as these. These are traveling around over 2,800. Close to 29. So anyway, let's go back and try the 120 grain. Sierra Match Kings, see what they do. I think I'll probably try to hold right in here because they're going to drop some. They're not going to be as fast. We'll see what they do. Well, folks, it seems to like those 120 grain Match Kings a little bit better. That was at 27 grains of benchmark powder. They averaged about 24.40 feet per second. Then the 27.3 grains, they averaged about 24.80 feet per second. And the 27.6 grains of benchmark powder behind the 120 match king, they was going 24.80, 24.85. And 27.9 grains, they was right at 2,500. And for some reason, maybe it was the wind, because it did, it was blowing pretty hard when I fired these last, this last group. But I felt like it was blowing right in my face, but I guess downrange it could have been blowing to the left. I don't know where I could have done that, but those two are right together. Those bullets look fairly promising. I've got the 123 grain SST load to shoot next. Hopefully I can decipher it through all these bullet holes. Got all of them marked though. Just out of targets, so I gotta continue to use these targets. Let's try those, see how they do. The groups from the 123 grain SST reloads with the H335 powder. This one here is one started out with. I was holding right here, and the wind's getting up, so they are pulling to the left a little bit. I'm done shooting today anyway, so but anyway, this is a 28 grains of powder. Uh, this was the second load, and it was 28.3 grains of powder. <coughs> and this was the next load, it was. 28.6 grains of powder and this one here was the last one at 26.9 now it's pretty close to the same groups that the factory ammo shot not that good not terribly bad Definitely good enough to deer hunt with out to 200 yards. And that one there's fairly promising, but it ain't quite 2,500. It's only running 2,450 average. 
the slowed here was at a 25.50 average. I only got one velocity on this one. It was 24.39. This big group here, it was it was 25.59, 25.43, and 25.49. So the velocity wasn't bad, but the harmonics is off on that barrel. I just don't like that bullet at that velocity. I could probably work around that load if I wanted, or maybe around this faster one. It might tighten up just a little bit less powder or just a little bit more powder. But pretty happy with the 120 green Match Kings. They shot the best groups. They're under two inches. So that's probably what I want to work with in this gun. I've got one more bullet I want to try. It's a it's a hundred grain hollow point. They always shot good out of every gun I've ever put them through. I'll try some of them later. I think I want to load up some 120 grain Match Kings. Looks like they are what's going to shoot the best out of it. Anyway, this is Marty, Ozark Outdoors, testing a CZ527 chamber for 6.5 Grendel. Got some pretty decent groups and some not so good groups. But nevertheless, I love the gun. It's a perfect packing rifle. Good rifle to hunt with. Good luck in all your adventures. Thanks for watching.